and I'm near my computer, I will generate a little information packet. Very busy man, after all. I am quite busy. Casting your burn spells in and sometimes, Magic Online. And sometimes just washed with so much apathy that it's hard for me to <laughs> cobble together the energy to do things like this. But like I said, I will try. Lean going to take a look at seven cards as will Patrol. We are underway here in our semifinals. It's a Delver of Secrets to get things started. Scalding Tarn will be the land that's sacrificed. And it's a Volcanic Island. Now, not a lot of removal in the Sliver's deck. In fact, there is none. <laughs> but he can assemble a board that locks out Delver of Secrets by getting a Gale Rider's Sliver or his Winged Sliver into play with enough pumping effects to make... Delver Secret's just too small. Looks to be a flooded strand here for Patrol. And he will sacrifice that. So we'll see what Lanny wants to search up here. He will go with just a basic island. Concerns about Wasteland certainly are legitimate. There is, I believe, one island in this deck. Yep. When you're trying to cast Green spells and blue and black spells and blue and white spells. You can only afford so many basics. There's an Aether Vial. That one doesn't care about what your spells are, though Daze will take care of that. And can't Daze that fast enough. Looks like a Taxian Probe. Maybe a Treasure Cruise. Are we cruising for a bruising? You're correct. Yeah. I take it back. There's a Volcanic. That's an attack for three. So Charles already down to 16. Delver doing what Delver does. Getting in there. There's a Cavern of Souls. That'll be naming Sliver. I can promise you that. And there is Hibernation Sliver. Oh, we got a reader. We'll get Hibernation Sliver here ready for you guys. You see Lean taking a look. We'll do the same. A part of my childhood. <laughs> Hibernation Sliver, a pretty sweet card, actually. You see Volcanic Eye on the draw here for Lean. Here's an attack for three. This is a stroll down memory lane for me. Yeah, I would agree. Do you have it coming, I assume? Here's a brainstorm. So three cards coming. <laughs> Two will go back. And each sliver gains an interesting power. Pay to life, return this creature to owner's hand. See, so Scalding Target and Sacrifice here. Make it a perfect brainstorm. Fix the mana as well. Basically, you can't touch this. A little bit of protection against sweepers, and it can do an inferior impression of crystalline sliver in certain spots. Yep. Lean guy. Make sure he's getting the right land, and he will go get himself a tundra. So all colors are online. This is another Delver, and he will shuffle up. Send it back to Blake here. Let's see what Blake can put together on this turn. He's already under the gun. This is the tough part. He doesn't have any creature removal. So the big thing that he needs to do is get some sort of flying sliver into play. Then he can start blocking. But he can't win faster than Anthony can. And he can't kill these Delvers, so... He needs to find one of these cards very quickly. So we'll see how Blake wants to proceed here, but... I think he's in a ton of trouble if he does not have a Gale Rider Sliver or one of his Winged Slivers. Oh, there's Flooded Strand. So there's a land. He's got to start making these Slivers rain down. Well, Anthony's hand is pretty good. It looks like there are two Lightning Bolts and Treasure Cruise and a land left over there. This graveyard's already getting pretty big. Blake has drawn a one of his main deck relics. Okay. So if he's concerned about Treasure Cruise, which he should be, because he got revealed to an incentile aberration, he can't go start going after the graveyard. I think the other thing, too, he's probably got to hope that that other Delver doesn't flip. because Then he's taking the beatdowns in the air, and he might not be able to keep up. Because he has a flooded strand amongst his lands, so mm -hmm. let's say that gets sacrificed. That's 12, and then 6 times 2 is 12. And Anthony also has two bolts in hand. Yeah. It's not looking great. Blake's going to go with the Relic to start. See, he's got some nice cards in his hand. A couple copies of Brainstorm. 
Predatory Sliver. There are definitely cards that matter over there. There's a Tundra. Let's see if he can get his kind of his shields up though before he gets run out of the gym. Yep. Hibernation Sliver did get a lot worse when they changed damage on the stack rules. Yep. Many moons ago. See what Sliver Blake wants to play this turn. He also does have Brainstorm in his hand, but this doesn't feel like a Brainstorm turn to me personally. He needs to get as much on the board right now as possible. Next turn, he can untap and Brainstorm. I think that he does have a Gale Rider Sliver. Yep. And a Predatory Sliver. So there's Gale Rider. With the ability to cast a Brainstorm or activate Relic. Going to trigger the Delver, take a look at the top card. That is not flipping. This is a relic activation. Get rid of the graveyard. So further away from Treasure Cruise. So the draw was a Misty Rainforest. Or excuse me, the draw was in Mizawa's Jite. Just an attack for three in the air. <laughs> Interesting that, that Blake decided not to trade the Hibernation Sliver there. Yeah, I'm a little surprised by the no block there to be sure. This is just a deck that you don't want to take any extra damage against if you can afford it. Because you still have your Gale Rider Sliver. So whatever Sliver you have to follow up with can then block the second Delver of Secrets if it flips. Brainstorm here. Three cards coming. Two, of course, going back in just a moment. And now you might get in this tempo spot where Anthony says, OK, untap and bolt your Gale Rider Sliver. You want to pay two and put that back in your hand? And I still get to attack uh, unabated that turn. Flooded Strand going to come into play. This is a predatory sliver, so also we're just gonna get plus one plus one. You see Lean taking a look at two lightning bolts here. Quite nice in this situation. And Blake trying to figure out if there's anything else he can do here. I think it was probably appropriate, given how far behind he was on the boards, maybe just ignore the graveyards, because he took basically a turn to slow down Treasure Cruise. And I'm not entirely sure that that's what matters at this point in the game. Well, it, on the other side of it, I don't think he can win if the Treasure Cruise resolves. Sure. Now he's getting aggressive with the Hibernation Sliver. Because he doesn't even have that much of an edge in terms of, you know, what's going on on the board. So drawing three there... Too good for Anthony. He also has no inevitability at this spot. They're still just playing magic. So it's a rough turn to take off, but I think he had to do it. Back to Lean will go. Take a look at the top card for Delver. You can tell he's played this deck before. Trigger on the stack. Not going to flip, so now he's considering breaking his fetch line so he doesn't draw that card. Looks like he has no interest in the top card of his deck, or at least he's going to give it a lot of thought. You can see the hand, Bolt, Bolt, Treasure Cruise. Yeah, we'll sacrifice the Mr. Rainforest. So no thank you to that top card. And there's Volcanic Island. That'll give him the second red source for the second bolt in his hand. So Blake barely hanging on right now, but I think it's tough for him to stop everything he needs to stop because with the bolt, he can take down the flyer and then Jitte can go on the Insight Dial Apparition and then the House of Cards collapses. So Lightning Bolt will be targeting Gale Rider Sliver here. Bring these slivers back to the ground. You saw the draw for the turn was a copy of Stoneforge Mystic. As good as that card is, that one doesn't matter all that much right now. I think Blake needs to fight a fight over this if he can. I don't think he can afford to pay two life even setting aside what we know about Anthony's hand. Yeah, I do like Force Willing if he does have. I'm going to rem remove a daze. Take one and go down to eight to do that. Force another <laughs> Lightning Bolt that way. Well, even if Anthony wants to use another Lightning Bolt, that means that the Jitte is not getting equipped this turn, and mm -hmm. that's, the, that's the immediate fight that Blake needs to win. They can hold off and draw a Crystalline Sliver. Then things really change around. Yeah, absolutely. He's got his defensive setup. The Jitte matters much less. So as bad as things are going now for Blake, he does have a path. But it has to be Crystal and Sliver. Well, there's the Mystic, so it looks like we're going to try to play a little bit of a longer game. 
go towards batter school <laughs> but even if Blake can get his shop set up here even batter skull is something he can power through yeah for sure it's all about getting the house of cards set up exactly and having it not crumble that's a brainstorm sliver hives the card in Blake's hand right now so one and two and three. Don't have a great look at it, but two, of course, will be coming back to the top of the deck. Even has a fetch land to make it perfect. Petra will cut Lean's deck and then get to resolving his brainstorm. It looks like Blake just looking at some counter spells right now. Did not find something proactive. Not what the doctor ordered. Cards go back. There's a sliver hive. Great mana fixer, and if the game goes long, you can definitely do some sweet stuff with that. But this Delver deck doesn't have interest in going long this game. That's for sure. This is more of a mana fixer, I think. If it if it comes up, that's a happy coincidence. Whoa! We're turning them all sideways. And this is a. Shoulder shrug and take it if you're Anthony Lean. It's funny, when spots like that happen where it's, what is this guy doing? There's some players who will go into the tank and think, what is possibly rationalizing that play? Yeah. And Anthony's reaction was just like, yeah, man, no blocks. <laughs> <laughs> I will take it. That is fine with me. Yeah, what's, what's that, seven? All right, all right sure. <laughs> I know your deck list. I got to look at it. Here's a crazy way. To, what is, does that... Does that make give all your creatures double strike? No? All right. All right. Is there a uh, Mr.'s Workshop for Slivers in play that lets you activate that thing? All right. No? Hibernation Sliver is going to come back. Got to pay two to do that, though. And I just passed the turn. Check with Delver. <laughs> Take a look. Lean misses again. That's three in a row. Volcanic Island on the draw. I appreciate Blake's pluckiness here, trying to get in that attack. Play one way. Yep. Well, I don't think he can win by blocking. I'm we're, in that, we're in that spot. I'm inclined to agree. So this at least might give Anthony enough rope to hang himself with. At this point, if he doesn't think he can win by blocking, he needs to try to win by attacking and hope the opponent makes a mistake. I'm fine with that as an approach. Who's always Jite? Going to be equipped on this. We are attacking. And I think that all Anthony's trying to do here is make it attractive for Blade to block the Delver of Secrets instead of the Insect Dollar and have the Bolt finish things off. Yep. Which makes sense. No great blocks here either way. Kind of a damned if you do, damned if you don't situation. That Jite likely going to get counters. There's a block. It says, I'm going to go to three. It looks like two charge counters on the G day, of course, after damage does resolve. The Delver will lose the fight to the Hibernation Sliver. But there is a Lightning Bolt here in Lean's hand. As long as we do have our life totals correct, that's going upstairs. And that is going to win. Game number one here for Anthony Lean. Just got Delver up a game over Slivers. A game that played out to be much closer than it looked like it would based on the initial pacing of the game. Yeah. I thought that, you know, looked like Blake was just going to get run out and he was able to keep, keep up, but that second bolt, not a lot to be done about that. Trivia time, six months. Rules question. Cedric will ans ask you a question, rather. Tweet your answer at SCG Live and hashtag SCG Premium. Of the correct responses, one will be selected for six months of Cersei Games Premium content. This is about accuracy, not speed, so do not worry about submitting first as accurately. And please bear in mind that this contest is run at the sole discretion of CerseiGames.com and that Twitch TV is no way affiliated with contests or giveaways on its stream. Grand Prix, New Jersey, number 14th to the 16th. There's a really sweet card that the entire tournament is kind of based around sleeves and deck box and play mat. And all this awesome stuff. Both players in our semifinal match right now also have it in their deck list. Name that card that Grand Prix, New Jersey is based around. 
There you go. Easy breezy. SCG Premium is your hashtag. Make sure you're following at SCG Live. We'll announce the winner at the conclusion of our semifinal round as we will head back down to the match. Take a look at these beautiful sideboards here. See if Slivers can even things up. You see two Relics, three Dark Heart Slivers, three Harmonic Slivers, two Sower of Temptation, two Fluster Storm, and three copies of Thalia, Guardian of Thraman. So if he wants to keep fighting the good fight against Treasure Cruise, he can bring in additional Relics, though four seems like a lot to me. The three Thalias I like in this matchup because Blake is all creatures where Anthony is playing with a lot of cheap spells. And I'm not sure if Sower of Temptation is specifically for show and tell type of matchups or if Sower is something he thinks he can cast in certain games. I think if it's the latter, he'll bring in the Sowers, and if not, they'll stay in the sideboard. Other side of things, we see a Sword of Feast and Famine, four Meddling Mages, two Rest in Peace, two Flusterstorm, two Pyroblast, two copies of Wear and Tear, an Elspeth, Knight Errant, haven't seen that one for a while, and a Council's Judgment. Um, I don't think I like any of these. Okay. I think I would just keep my same 60. Pyroblast, no. Couple, Crystalline Sliver and Hibernation Sliver, they're on the stack. Most of the Slivers that matter are green and white. And if he has Aether Vial, if he Aether Vial's in Crystalline Sliver, then your Pyroblast is Can't just shut it. off. Yeah. I would be really suspicious of bringing in Elspeth and Council's Judgment against a deck that's bringing in Thalia against me, most likely. I don't see much for Anthony to bring in, honestly. Is it? I just want Elspeth just because I like Elspeth. That's it's, not a good reason. Elspeth is sweet. Yeah. If the plan is to sideboard in sweet cards, Council's sure. Judgment kills Crystalline Sliver. There is that. Yep, it's it's a lot of mana. The Council's Judgment's probably fine. But I, I'm kind of with you. I don't think he needs to sideboard too much. Honestly, I don't expect him to either. Our other match for you guys, our backup match between Nick Leaf and Daryl Feltner. You've got Miracles versus Lands. Looks like they're probably still in game number one, but if we do have an update for you guys on what's going on over there, we do expect for it to take a little while. Miracles does take a little while to close the game out, even though it is a... Pretty tough matchup there for Lance. We've heard a lot of laughing from the gallery, and I don't think it pertains to this match here. Probably not great then for Mr. Leaf. Can't say that. Well. Well, well, well. Upsets abound. Nick Leaf up a game with lands over miracles. Well, okay then. Even with miracles having main deck rest in peace up a game, I imagine there was a dark depths involved. Most likely. I've got a feeling. Flooded strand into Aether Vile. We'll see if it resolves this time. Last game, it got dazed. This is an important one for Slivers, of course. It's tough to keep in force of will against these sort of decks. It looks like Anthony has. Yep. Attacks and probes. What's getting removed? Will we fight back? We will not. Blake with Force of Will and Days of His Own, but did not have him there. See Misty Rainforest. Your favorite, Gataxian Probe. Boom. See the Grip. Brainstorm. Muscle Sliver. Sliver Hive and Flooded Strand. So Brainstorm's got a lot of work to do this game. Yes, this is a hand in need of some improvement. Muscle Sliver, not a bad place to start. And Brainstorm's going to have to tie the room together. Lane will draw a card. Lots of lightning bolts. Draws a Delver of Secrets. I have to imagine this is going to be a Volcanic Island he's searching up. And it looks like our Jeskai Delver player is in the driver's seat again. His hand was without any action. He had some bolts and I think another Force of Will. But now, especially given the fact that Blake can't really kill this Delver, uh, he's got a lot, of, a lot going on now. There's a Brainstorm. So one and two. Three cards added here. See the hand of Triple Bolt and a Force of Will there for Lean. This is a man in need of a Crystalline Sliver. Yeah, I hope for Blake's sake that Delver doesn't flip because then things get real ugly, especially if it's a Ponderer or a Brainstorm. Very scary stuff. The people over there are having a lot of fun. Yeah, there are a lot watching of players. that Lands and Miracles match. Normally, you know, the room clears out. There's about four or five players left. But there are a lot of players in our future match area kind of watching that Lands versus Miracles match. And again, Nick Leaf is up a game with his Lands second against Miracles. So maybe some tomfoolery and ballyhoo happening over there. Tropical Island will come into play. And a Relic to slow down Treasure Cruise. Lean is just hoping this flips. Not this time. 
Info <laughs> one. Did a double check just to yeah. make sure. That's not a spell, really. Doesn't look to be. What's he passing back with? Didn't get a great look at that card. I think it was Trune Nemesis. Okay, that's expensive. Relic activation. This is, is a Cavern of Souls. Of course, I mean Sliver. This is a Hibernation Sliver. What color is it? Very good against the bolts in Anthony's hand. Indeed. Checking with Delver. Ding, ding, ding. Council's Judgment from the board. Well, that's sort of a hit. I mean, it does flip the Delver here, but Anthony a long way away from casting that. That's a hit to me. Get that thing flipped. Let's get the beatdowns. Relic going to get blown here. Patrol needs a card. He'll untap those three lands. Draw another card for his turn. That's another Relic. And now there's a Muscle Sliver. Here's an attack for three. It looks like the race may be on here. Lean taking a look. Can't force away that thing as it went through the cavern. Bolts may be going upstairs. I'm going to actually go after Hibernation Sliver. And I think Blake may have drew, drawn a daze. Now's not a bad time. Well, if he picks a fight here and Anthony has Stoneforge missing in hand and draws a Tundra, then Blake might just be dead. So that's a concern if you're on Blake's side. We know Anthony does not have Stoneforge Mystic. But you always have the opportunity of just bouncing your Hibernation Sliver and trying again next turn. Yeah. That is true. If Blake knows what we know, I would daze here. But he doesn't have that information. Well, I think Blake has given away that the card in his hand is a daze. He's given this a long look. And now we're going to force Willard moving the true name nemesis. This is, a, this is a pretty big win here for... For Blake. Feels like a win. Yeah, he's going to pick this up, pay the two life on the hibernation sliver. The other race is still on here, Patrick. For sure. Draw a card. Brainstorm. In for three. Lean is going to lightning bolt the muscle sliver. This is an opportunity to do it because the shields are down on the hibernation sliver. Mm -hmm. Blake can go ahead and sacrifice his relic to give himself another shot at days. But I like bolting here straight away. Just keep the board contained. You can keep racing. Blake's only going to beat you if he builds up a board, so just pick things apart as you can. Relic going to remove the graveyards. Mystery cards are on. Looks like be a tropical island, maybe. Either way, Muscle Sliver bites the dust. Draw a card here. Let's see what Blake wants to do this turn. We've just been informed that our backup match between Miracles and Lands going to a third game. Something interesting must have happened over there. We've got Muscle Silver and Hibernation Silver back together at it. Pyroblast the draw. In for three more. The draw going to go down to five. And so now we're on Flying Silver or Bust, and the Pyroblast has that covered. Mm -hmm. Two mana. Another hibernation sliver. It's time to attack. This will be for five. Aline considering using that pyroblast. But not much to do with it. Doesn't really care about taking that damage. Comes to that conclusion. Even if something goes wrong, he's still facing lethal on the way back. He's not facing lethal on the way back, so no reason for Anthony to move just yet. Lightning Bolt is shown, and a hand is extended. Anthony Lean going to win this match over Blake Petra. Two games to zero. Jeskai Delver moving on to the finals. Going to play against Lands or Miracles. We'll find out who it's going to be in just a minute here. Congratulations to Anthony Lean on a very impressive win. Our fifth overall seed going to the finals.